Oh, oh, Sphinx. Uh, he, he's, he's just a frazzled mesh of mush mind. Uh, authentically, uh, Sphinx, yeah, totally fucked up as he hugs his distinguished father. Yeah, Tutankhamen, ambassador here for 30 years. He's got the best spies in Cairo. Keep it all running like a smooth machine. Yeah. Uh, Tut. He's got to avoid an international incident here. Turks, yeah, they want the body of the saint in a sepulcher in the inner third courtyard, the courtyard of salutations within Topkapi Palace. Yeah. Afghanis, they're demanding. The Sphinx. Anybody, get the body back to bulk for a tomb there. I mean, bulk's only 20 kilometers from Mazari Sharif, so you see the big, huge, world-famous mosque. You still got an afternoon off. I'll give you something to do. Put some flowers on the tomb of the hash guy. Yeah, memorial sepulchral tomb, huh? Yeah. Well, ah, Egyptians caught in the middle. Uh-oh. In a diplomatic tug, Gur. Oh, of war. Bristling with brinkmanship. Don't you dare, or. Oh, men are so good at that, aren't they? Yeah. Um, well, okay. Uh, so, the. Uh, Anxious ambassador. He unbolts the horse trailer and uh, blood spattered Pasha jumps out from the dark. Well, no time to explain about that. Uh, you know, Pasha informs Sphinx, chopped off finger. <sighs> oh, causing Sphinx to uh, realize. Uh, Pasha, Earthman, Cleo, we can't go any further overland like this. Grieving mobs. We're way too obvious. Rolls Royce horse trailer. Hello. We'll never get through Yuzgut or Sivas. We ain't get in. I mean, Omar's going to be mobilized to nothing. Uh, cannibalized relics, skin, fingernails, eyelashes, underwear. And if we tried to stop them, they'd just rip us apart. Yeah. Oh, well, Tutankhamen, son. Come here. Come here. You know. Give me a hug. Chill. Oh, mellow out. Uh, there is something that can be done in this regard. Okay, I have arranged to fly the corpse. Holy cadaver to Kabul, sealed within a diplomatic pouch. Yeah, unmarked, private Egyptian jet. And once that corpse is over uh, Afghani airspace, there's nothing any nation can do. Yeah, no nation can interfere, huh? His bones will be in his nation of birth, as guaranteed by the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights signed by Afghanistan and, and Turkey in, in 1947 that allows any human being to return to his home country. <laughs> well, Sphinx, well, yeah, we can't be picky. Who cares if he's dead at the time? Oh, uh, and uh, son, would you honor Egypt by accompanying the body of our guru to Afghanistan in that private unmarked uh, Egyptian jet full of spies? Father, inshallah. All right, look, son, I've got a, a, a Turk spy disguised at the Pataan. Uh, rifleman, horseman, 
He's going to have his truck running outside of the Kabul airport once you clear customs out. He's going to take you. We're calling this a midnight ride. Stealth. Uh, journey. All the way to Bog. In the dark. Nobody will know. It's just disguised as a kind of a, like a wheat, wheat truck. Grain. Sacks of grain. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sphinx. Oh. <sighs> Oh, size in relief. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a fine plant. Plant toot. Yeah. Father and son embrace deeply. Hmm. Well, the embassy staff, oh, they got to scurry around like a mice. Huh? They, they, they got to they gotta prepare the body for the plane trip. Oh, well, first they got to. They fan out, okay. They get ice, chips of ice, uh, you know, and uh, and then then they 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 surround Omer's body with it. They've got a little cardboard uh, impromptu coffin they've made. They put the ice in there around that, and then they get two large uh, diplomatic uh, bags, uh, sometimes called pouches, but these are big bag pouches, and uh, they cover Omar first. There's the ice, then a goat skin body bag, ice inside, waterproof. And then they hood one of the diplomatic pouches over the head of the dead body. And that comes down as far as his belly button. Okay. I mean, he's horizontal. He's a dead, he's a stiff corpse. I mean, he walks horizontally. He doesn't walk anymore. They, from the feet, they put the other body bag starting at his feet. And then the two diplomatic bags meet at his belly button. They stitch those two uh, goat skins and the pouches together there. And then they, they bind the whole thing with lots of burgundy twine. And then they just sploosh wax all over it to kind of seal the deal. And then, look, only Toot and Sphinx have these rings. They're diplomatic uh, spy rings, coated. They press it. They impress it into the wax before it melts. We're talking positive ID. He's got to get the body out of Kabul, Kabul Airport. <sighs> well... So, so, spies are taking the body. It's all set up now out to a clandestine airstrip. We're not talking uh, Anchor Airport. This is a clandestine spies only airport. <laughs> uh, well, things are looking up, huh? Got a body bag, got a jet to Afghanistan. See, put all your heart into something and sometimes you get a break along the way. <laughs>